It's a real nightmare when your hard drive starts to die and you're worried about getting your data back. Uh, this happened to me a couple of days ago and this was how I was able to salvage most of my data. Uh, you know your hard drive is dying or close to dead when you hook it up to your system and it's reading really slow, you can copy anything out of it, it takes a while for it to pop up and you're worried about your data. And most times people tend to like format the hard drive and try to use a data recovery software to pull the files back but that doesn't really work much, um, it doesn't give you as much files as you as you could if you actually salvage it. So uh, don't try to, you can hook it up to the computer, but don't try to copy anything out because it's just gonna like freeze your entire system or your explorer because it's taking too long to load and your computer can't read the drive. So this happened to me and this was the way I was able to salvage the data. It's pretty easy. Um, you could either copy it direct to your computer or if you have another hard drive, you're gonna transfer the files to hook them both up to the system, what you need to do is you're going to copy the files out using command prompt. It's really easy and it takes a while but it gets the job done. It, to me it's the best method that I've used. So what you're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put the, the command in the description below so you can just copy and paste and all you have to do is replace the the drive let's say if you're copying from maybe your D drive or your C drive to another drive or vice versa you just need to um, edit the, the command and put where you're copying from to where you're copying to uh, most times you want to copy the entire drive so just put the drive letter in the first part and wherever you're copying it to on the second part and just run the run the code on command prompt now, if you notice in the code, there's a lot of um, forward slash this, that. The most important one is the forward slash C. Uh, what this does is when it's copying data from one hard drive to the other, it, um, it takes its time. And if there is any file that's refusing to copy due to corrupted data or bad hard drive sectors, it skips that file and moves to the next one. So the point is, no error is going to stop it. It's going to try to copy every single piece of viable data off of the old or damaged or hard to read hard drive, which is really good because when you try to copy with Explorer, it just, um, you know, it copies really slow and freezes up the system and you can't really do anything and it takes forever. But this method, it does take a little bit longer as well, but it works better. So um, when I was copying my files, uh, it was reading and as you can see, if there is any part that has an error, it's going to tell you data cyclic error, but it's going to freeze there for like 30 seconds. But after that, it moves on to the next file and it just keeps going. And uh, at the end of everything, you should have most of your data back, at least between 70 to 90 percent back and that's just the best way to get it done so the the command is in the description there just enter it into command prompt and um, you get to command prompt by pressing windows and e windows and r and type cmd and press enter so it uses the x copy format and it's, it works pretty well just give it a try and let me know if it worked for you or if you have any more questions but don't try to format your hard drive, don't try to access it. Just hook it up to the system, make sure the system sees that the drive is connected. You have the drive letter and yeah, try this and just let it run and copy all the data it can to the new um, safe location. Uh, all right, 